All right, very quick, you guys. Shalom to you. Um, in the last video that I made, I talked about how um, Donald Trump had converted to um, Judaism um, early on, early on. This is like 2017, and, and it really wasn't made public. I had somebody commenting, or even a few were upset about what I said, and so I just want to clarify. I wasn't just making that up. This really happened, and this is common knowledge in the Jewish communities, especially in um, the area I live in, in, in Miami, uh, where it's, it's very well known what Donald Trump did. And it makes sense. And I made reference of Shechem, and, uh, you know, I think in the video I misspoke, uh, but the way it happened was um, Jacob's daughter and one of, and, and, and a prince, remember, he had, he had relations with her, and the brother's you know, they wanted to, they, they wanted to, you know, protect her honor, in other words, right? Jacob worked out a deal with the king of Shechem so that there could be a marriage, right? And what was that? That they had to be circumcised, right? And so there was, there was this marriage. They were, they were brought into Israel, right? Jared Kushner could not marry a Trump unless this happened, all right? This is a real thing. But it wasn't made public because Donald Trump uh, didn't need to lose his Christian base, in other words, folks. So uh, I want to, it's not a lot on this because Donald Trump didn't want this to be out. Um, and, uh, you know, we never heard a lot about it. Here's the video. Here, here's something from five years ago, you guys. Five years ago, True News was talking about this very thing. Listen, listen. If, J if Jared Kushner is vice president, if that's not weird enough, here's the one that really is weird. Donald Trump converted to Judaism two years ago, according to White House official. Hey, there it is. That's his blog. He said, President Donald Trump converted to Judaism two years ago and joined Chabad Lubavitch Synagogue in New York City, according to a high-level White House official. Mr. Goldberg says the story has allegedly been held by CNN's editors for months, but is due to be released within the next few days. David Elias Goldberg, a fellow at the Jewish Center... And by the way, I don't believe it was ever released. I believe, um, you know, they just, they just suppressed this. Uh, for some reason, uh, I don't know why I wasn't fodder for the left to to accuse him of being Jewish, but uh, you, you can't find anything on that. Um, and, and it's probably because he wanted it to be secretive for him. It was just a formality. And by the way, Donald Trump was circumcised at birth. OK, there was a report that came out in 2023 or or an article that 2023 that no, Donald Trump didn't really convert because he didn't want to be circumcised. Folks, that was the story that they put out because they had to protect Trump's base. All right. So they put that story out. But the fact is. He did convert. And not too long ago, I'm just telling you, just a month or two ago, he went to New York to Google it. Google Donald Trump at the Lubavitch Lubavitch Rebbe grave and you'll see that he went there put on a, a kippah paid his respects even did the ritual where he he leaves a note it's torn they tear it and uh throw it on top of the grave he put a stone on top of uh, that's a jewish tradition a hebrew tradition where you leave a stone at the grave of a loved one right he did all that I told you he's also very strongly involved with um, the Temple Institute and Chaim, uh, Rabbi Chaim Reichman. Um, Donald Trump is a is a major uh, donor to that. So uh, very strong support. And, and I'm not, listen, I love that about him. I love that about him. I love the guy, okay? he's. I'd rather that he would be president, right? But it's the same thing as Barack Obama. Barack Obama claimed to be a Christian, and we all know that he was a Muslim. It was for the same reason. Okay? Barack Obama needed the black church to back him. 
Donald Trump needs the same thing, right? So he, listen, five years ago, this was put out. This is from a legitimate, you know, publication in Israel. And the White House official was a, was a Jewish man, a, a religious Jew. And by the way, in, in all of um, the Jewish population, 2% are religious. It's, it's not the whole population. So it's a very small portion of the Jewish population. All right. Center of anti-Semitic study has also interviewed the White House source. According to the source, Trump was pushed by his daughter Ivanka and son-in-law Jared Kushner to join the faith. At first, Trump resisted, stating it would threaten his base of evangelical Christian voters. However, he had a change of heart and officially converted in early 2017. The ceremony was held in private and closely guarded for nearly two years. It appears the White House is prepared to slowly release this information, and by summer, it is expected Trump will fully address his new faith in an evening televised news conference. Doc, this is so that That never happened, folks. He didn't want it to be public, so that never happened. Far out. I, this is so far out that I don't, I don't even, I can't, I can't rule out that it's, it's because uh, he is clearly the most pro-Israel president in the history of America. He's given Israel every single thing that they've wanted, mm -hmm. and he's about to give them war with Iran. And so has he converted? Well, I would... I've asked that question about John Hagee, and I'm very serious about it. If I had John Hagee here, I would ask John Hagee, have you converted to Judaism? And I guess we'll find out when John Hagee dies, and we'll see if he gets a Christian burial or a Jewish burial. I think that's when we'll find out. But I, I, I'm very, I have no idea. I can't, I'm not, I, I'm not saying that John Hagee that I know for certain has converted. I'm just saying his behavior and his speech is not Christian anymore. Right. It's Jewish. And I have to wonder if John Hagee secretly converted to Judaism. But when it comes back to President Trump here, um, we have to really do a comparison here. Um, if, you know, and he celebrated among the evangelical right, but let's be honest, what has he delivered for the religious right? Do we still, do we still have abortion? Do we still have homosexuality? Do we still have all these things going on in our nation? In fact, the other day, President Trump uh, criticized the abortion law in Alabama. Yes. And a lot of people miss that. They just kind of, oh, don't talk about that. And he's he also, criticized and the he same position as Pat Robertson. And he supports same-sex marriage. Yes. Those are Jewish values. Yes. So if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, remember back when we were selling, Rick, we did the Ben Franklin clothes. All right. All right, you took a piece of paper, you put a line down the middle, and you put the benefits on one side of the, uh, the one uh, right. product and the benefits of the other on the other side. You have to ask, all right, for the Christians, what has President Trump delivered? Put it on that left-hand column. For Israel, what has he delivered? Well, I can tell you what he's delivered. He's delivered the Golan Heights. He's delivered the uh, embassy. He's delivered all these different, the, there's going to be a big deliver with the peace deal. But Doc, if you ask Christian Zionists, they would say he did deliver. He gave the Christian Zionists everything they dreamed about for Israel. But the Christian Zionists did not, did not use any political clout to stop abortion to stop same-sex marriage, to ban pornography, to reinstate prayer in school. None of that Nothing. has changed. None Nothing. of that has changed. Not a single one. Because the Christian Zionists do not care about those issues. They have sold out. They've completely sold out. So uh, I want to show you one more article. This is, uh, let me see if I can... This is the Times of Israel. Yeah, the Times of Israel. This was uh, published March 22nd, 1999. Here it is, number 11. Yeah, what did I say? March 22nd, 2019. This is the Times of Israel. Trump, the first Jewish president of the United States. Now, that's not us saying that. That's Times of Israel. So, folks, it's... 
it's definitely been out there. It's nothing that I made up. Um, and there, there's a lot of talk in the in the Jewish community um, about that subject, and they and they really, really believe it's not like it's, it's uh, you know just some rumor going around. Um, when you have rabbis who who talk about it firsthand because they're part of the same organization, and they were either there or or knew someone there, um, you know Jews don't generally lie uh, like that. Right, and just make something up and have some, you know, rumor going around. So there's credibility to it, and it didn't sound like these two guys were, you know, Trump fans, uh, obviously. But um, there you go. Uh, so for for the person asking about the source, the source didn't just come from me. I wasn't one that made it up. It's really out there. And uh, I think it has credibility just based on observation from everything I'm saw. Shalom to you. See you in the next video. See you in a couple of days, you guys, with the election going on. All right. So I'll be right there. Shalom.